Hey, my name is Stranger, and today I'm gonna to walk you through Minimal Audio's new Flex Chorus, which is a powerful chorus VST with two algorithms and 24 voices. But before we get into the nitty gritty of this amazing tool, let's walk you through the basics of what is a chorus effect. So if you've been producing music for a little while now, you've probably heard of a phaser, flanger, chorus, and delay. Essentially, all four of these audio effects are applying a similar technique. What's actually happening is you're duplicating an audio source and delaying the duplicate by a certain amount of time. So here's a vocal sample by my friend Flo Anastasia. All the galaxies in between unseen. And so I've duplicated the vocal, and then if we zoom right in, we can adjust the delay by manually moving this. So at the smallest time delay, we're talking about fractions of a millisecond, you have phasing. All the galaxies in between and see. And as you increase the delay to a couple milliseconds, then you have flanging. All the galaxies in between and see. And as you increase it to between 10 to 20 milliseconds, then it becomes a chorus effect. All the galaxies in between and seen. And then finally, as you increase it more, you get a delay. All the galaxies in between and seen. Now that we have a rudimentary understanding of the chorus effect, let's open up Minimal Audio's Flex Chorus and look at what it can do. So here's this basic sawtooth waveform playing dry. Now let's enable flex chorus and firstly let's check out some of the presets. Love the additional depth that Flex Chorus adds to the Sawtooth. This one just sounds monstrous. Beautiful sounding results. All right, let's initialize Flex Chorus and go through the parameters. So the first parameter you might notice is the voicing and you can change this from two to 24 voices, meaning you have up to 24 copies of the audio layered together. So let's check it out. And then we have the time knob, which is the amount of delay time for the chorus. Notice we have two line indicators here showing the voices. Each color represents a different voice here with uh, the top one being left and the bottom one being right. There's also a width parameter and this adjusts the stereo width of the left and right. And then finally, there's a feedback knob which sends the output signal back into the effect. And as you increase it, you get interesting reverb-like and metallic resonating effects. Finally, there's two algorithms in this effect. There's the smooth mode, which is the classic chorus effect sound. And then there's a glass mode, which is a more newer style of chorus effect. It gives you kind of a glassy sound for lack of better terms. So you can see how a chorus effect can add a lot more 
depth and texture to your sound. Let's check out what happens when we increase the voices. Now we may want to adjust the feedback as it's super high right now. Now chorus effects commonly have an LFO which can modulate the delay time. Now, as you modulate that delay time, you get interesting nuances and fluctuations in the pitch. So if you enable the modulation mode, we can increase the modulation depth which controls how much we're changing the delay time. So watch this. Let's bring the voices back down to four so we can hear this more audibly. You know, so we have got a visual indicator of what is happening too. It almost sounds like a swarm of killer bees are approaching impending doom. What's cool is we can increase the randomize function, which adds randomness to the modulation depth. This is especially useful if you want to apply this to your vocal. Adding randomization will make the chorus sound a lot more realistic. Finally, there's a filter section, which allows us to shave the top and bottom end before it gets sent into the chorus effect. For example, sometimes you might want to exclude the low frequencies from being chorused. And that's especially important if you're adding a chorus effect to bass sounds. Because if you add chorus to the sub bass frequencies, you might get phasing issues. There's also two filter modes. There is the multi-band mode. Which is interesting, you get completely different results because you're sending two separate signals. One is high pass and one is low pass into the effect. Finally, you can adjust the input gain going into the effect. Also, when you enable this input gain button, this input knob will only adjust the signal going into the chorus effect, meaning the dry signal stays the same. Of course, there's a dry and wet fader. an output parameter. And finally, there's a limiter with two modes. Purple is more gentle saturation. Very useful when you're combining multiple voices. And then you have an orange mode, which is more punchy sound. All right, now that you know all the parameters and flex chorus, let's try on a number of sound applications and see the results. All right, so here's a nasty Reese preset of mine playing dry. All right, let's turn off flex chorus. Currently we're at two voices. Let's increase the time and then adjust the stereo width. So with more gentle settings and with the modulation section disabled, you get dimension expander effects. Let's increase the voices to 12. Let's increase the feedback. Let's 
Let's crank on up to 24 voices. Let's check out what happens with glass mode. Let's enable the filter and go to filter mode and let's add a high pass so we're not chorusing the low end. Interesting effects with the multiband mode. Let's add some modulation. Let's turn on the uh, soft clipping. We got some nasty recess with this chorus effect. Using flex chorus is a neat way to fatten up pad sounds. Watch this. Here's my pad sound dry. The glass mode sounds especially nice on pads. I'm already feeling the nostalgia. Here's something I learned recently. Adding a chorus effect on break beats can have interesting results. You might even be able to fatten up the break. Here's the break dry. Let's add flex chorus. That's cool for drum editing. Interesting results. Finally, let's add flex chorus to our vocal sample. So flex chorus is a really nice way to expand your vocals, make them sound three dimensional. Love how pristine and clear the chorus effect sounds. All right, so that was my demonstration of Minimal Audio's new Flex Chorus VST effect. Amazing tool which can be applied on a number of sound applications. If you want to learn more about Flex Chorus, you can check the links down below. And until the next video, stay creative and peace out.